Today we're making something really special with my sister's sourdough starter. Yes, then this is Melissa, my sister. Tell them what we're making, Melissa. Okay. Dinner, well, not dinner rolls. They're called breadsticks, I guess. What do they call it? Sourdough breadsticks. Mm -hmm. Soft. Let's get started. Alrighty, now it's my turn to try to make this sourdough bread and to that, tonight we are going to make some breadsticks and they're going to be fluffy and soft breadsticks. And we're going to start with a teaspoon of active dried yeast. So we're going to get that in here in the mixer. We're going to add three quarter cups of warm water, a good pinch of salt, a hefty pinch it says. And then you're going to use about a tablespoon and a half of honey. So some delicious honey. And a half. And all you're going to do is you're going to mix this up and let it get a little frothy, as my mama would call it. Or foamy. <laughs> so we're going to mix this up. Let me make sure that hook's getting down in the bottom. You might want to use a whisk like we just did because this hook's not going to get down there and mix up the um, yeast good. All right, so we're going to let it sit five minutes. Okay, so our timer went off. It's been five minutes. This is my pretty sister. She's going to be making artisan bread if you've seen it already or if you hadn't seen it. Um, it's rising. It's rising. And we're going to be making a lot of stuff out of her sourdough starter. And I'm going to take some home with me. Now, we're going to start this up. It's been five minutes. We're going to add two and a half cups of flour. We're going to be adding a half cup of our sourdough starter. So, Melissa can get that out for us right quick. <laughs> we'll get the gilled mint. We're getting it, y'all. I've got several. You think I would just have them around here. And uh, so, we're making breadsticks tonight. We're making artisan bread tonight. But we're going to split it up in two videos for y'all. But instead of me having to make my own starter, Melissa's going to send me home with some. And so now I can make bread anytime I want to. So once I get home, maybe I'll make y'all some cinnamon rolls or something like that. Yes, fun. So that's the one thing I haven't tried. And I think I'm just going to leave that one to you. Because don't you got to do like, you know that's one thing I never made is the cinnamon rolls. Oh, they're so good. Don't you have to? They're easy. Is it half a cup, Jamie? Yes. So really you don't need it. All right, so we're going to put this starter in here. And you can see how it looks. It looks kind of like sticky. No, well, I'm not going to quite put, quite put all that because she put a little extra in there for me. Well, it should. I think it's a lot of that will stick. Okay. Now what we're going to do is turn this on. We're going to add a quarter cup of butter and it's been melted and cooled down some. Great thing about the breadsticks is they got butter in them. Now we're going to put in two and a half cups of flour. This is white lily bread flour. Now you can use all purpose, but I told Melissa I always like to use bread flour when I'm making bread because it actually has more gluten in it. So it's easier to make bread with bread flour. Shouldn't take much bread on my tank at butter. Thank you very much. Oh, really? That's one and a half cups. This will be two cups. And then we'll put in a half cup. We're going to turn it up just a little bit. And you just got to give it time to get all that in there. Now, once this bread um, starts mixing up, you want all of it to form a ball. And you can continue to add flour until it does. Um, Did you add your honey? I didn't use the honey. Yes, we put honey in it to start with. This is doing really good. I don't even know that I'm going to have to add any flour to it. So just keep kneading it. So what you want is all of the bread to come off the sides of the mixer. 
Uh, come here and look, Lacey. How long's it got to go? Cause see, that's the way mine was a minute ago, but then once it went five minutes, it started sticking. Yeah, but what about this little ball that's not mixing in the rest of it right here? I'm not sure what's going on with that. Let's just stick it down in there. Yeah. Press it down in there good and let it combine. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to mix it until it all forms together. And you want it all to come off the sides of the bowl and into the ball of flour. Now, if it's not doing that, you can continue. If it's really sticky, you can continue to add flour, a teaspoon or a tablespoon at a time until you think you can handle the dough, all right? Now, I think it's plenty. I don't think I need to add any flour because to me it's already a ball. Um, and we're gonna beat this for eight to 10 minutes, all right? So we're pretty much deemed it eight to 10 minutes with the mixer. Oh, and if you have a KitchenAid, make sure you lock the top down. It's been eight minutes, so we that's how long we needed it. Eight minutes. So I'm gonna pull the dough off the dough hook. We're gonna get it over here on the table and I'm gonna oil this uh, bowl a little bit and we're just gonna proof it right in the bowl. Not mess anything else up. So I've just got some oil. So it won't stick to it. We're just oiling it up a little bit. There's our bowl, and here's our bread. And I mean, it's perfect. It's a little sticky, and that's how you want it. I didn't have to add any more flour, so it was exactly two and a half cups of bread flour. And that looks good. So we're just gonna lay it down in the bottom of here and let it proof. Cover it with a little plastic wrap, and we'll see you when it doubles in size. All right, y'all, we did a good job. Look at our beautiful dough. It has risen in size, so I'm going to punch it down, take it out, and we're going to make bread sticks out of it. So the first thing we're going to do is divide it up. So we're going to cut it in half, half. And then threes. And then you're just going to roll these into seven inch long bread sticks. And it's going to rise again. Right. Put it right there. And some of them might be a little smaller than others. Now I'm using parchment paper. So, y'all tell us if you use sourdough starter and what all you've made with your sourdough starter. Um, I'm going to take some home and Melissa put it in the refrigerator. If you put your sourdough starter in the refrigerator, you only have to feed it once a week. If you leave it out at room temperature, you got to feed it once a day. And some people feed it twice a day. So I doubt I'll be making that much bread to be feeding it that often. Remember, these are going to double in size again. They're going to rise up. When I've got this little piece right here, we'll throw it in there somewhere. Right here. Now, all I'm going to do is put plastic over it. We're going to let it double in size, and then we're going to bake it. Okay, these have risen double. So what we're going to do is, I don't like to brush my rolls or breadsticks or anything like that, because if you brush them, you can actually cause them to fall after they've risen. So just pour some melted butter on them. Now this is garlic herb sea salt. So we're gonna sprinkle this on the top of the ones we buttered. And 
and we're going to get them in the oven and we're going to bake these at 400 degrees until they're nice and toasty brown. Should take about 10 to 12 minutes and then we get to eat one. Here they are! Mm -hmm. That looks good. They All smell. Right, let's put I wish some they could smell them. More butter on them. More butter. <laughs> now these are plain. The other ones we put that garlic salt on it. Yeah. That sea salt with. Uh, Oh, I wish you could flavor. smell and they smell so mm -hmm. good. Yeah, they do. I'm going to dip that some more better. Whoa, they're hot. They are Very hot. hot. You better blow that a little bit. Okay. Mm. Let's pull it apart for them. Here, let me grab one of these. They are good. Are y'all ready? We're going to... Pull it apart. You see the inside. What do you think, Melissa? They're good. They're good. To me, they're delicious. They are good. They're very good. I like these personally better than the artisan bread. Because they're soft. Because they're soft. And they're just better. To me, it tastes better. Yeah. I need to freeze them. I like it a lot better. It's like getting a lot of pieces of little pieces of bread. And you I can like freeze it them separate. Than sandwich bread too. Yeah. It's my favorite so far. Yummy. It and pancakes with the salad though so far is my favorite. And mm -hmm. it's faster to make the rolls than the artisan bread. We're still waiting on it. To rise. So we're just gonna say thank you for watching. Collard Valley Cooks. Tammy. With Melissa. her sister Melissa making mm. soft, fresh sourdough breadsticks. Oh, mm.